Today we're doing a Japanese gel nail polish haul. I'm literally obsessed with all things Japanese and Korean when it comes to the nail world. So I'm going to be focusing on products that came from Cocoist.com and Zillabo.com or maybe it's Zillabu.com. I'm really not sure. So we're going to be looking at these magnetic polishes from Cocoist.com. I'm really excited about those. They actually come in a full collection of 10 online, um, but I only purchased a few of them because I think I already had some. And then from Zillabu, we're going to be looking at these leaf gel colors. Um, they're all potted gels, which I love to work with. They're usually so pigmented. And this is my very first time trying leaf gel products, so I'm excited to see how the formula and consistency is and to see if it's easy to work with. I also only bought neon colors because summer is approaching at the time that I recorded this video, so I'm excited. If you decide to pick anything up from either cocoist.com or zillabu.com, please don't forget to use code PRECIOUS10 and you will save on your order. For all of the swatches in today's haul, I'm going to be using these swatch sticks from Amazon and then the round brush from Cocoist. Okay, let's get into these bright colors. I feel like I love summer nails because everyone is so much more adventurous in the summer. So we're gonna start off with this blue color. I was really curious to see if the tone of polish in the pot matches what's on the top. So let's figure it out. Leaf gel color 31 is like this rich, denim blue i don't even know how to explain it it's some sort of a a bright but it's not like super in your face so far the consistency is a little bit thick which is good for painting especially when painting nail art and placing it down it does feel a little bit tacky when putting on the first coat so i needed to grab a little bit more and this is definitely my first time like i said using leaf gel so it'll be interesting to see if they're all like this or if certain colors are like this Putting down that first coat, I'm noticing it is a little bit difficult to get down a smooth and consistent layer, but the color is absolutely stunning. And this color seems to definitely be one where you'd wanna do two coats rather than one. I don't feel like the coverage is to its full potential with just one coat, so I will be doing two. If you tried leaf gel before, let me know in the comments which are your favorite colors or yeah, anything you know about it. Okay, after putting down this second coat, immediately I noticed how much smoother and easier it is to put down that second coat. It's literally like butter. So after putting down the first coat, getting the second coat down, it's definitely more my vibe of consistency. And then I wanted to check to see if it matches the top and it pretty much did. All right, moving on to our next color, it's 202. This color, as soon as you open it, it is stunning. I think this was my favorite out of the entire pickup after opening it. It's impossible for the inside to match the top, um, but the color is so nice. It looks like hot lava, <laughs> hot neon lava. Okay, let's go ahead and get some color down. First of all, I'm actually obsessed with this color. It is so beautiful. I'm noticing the same thing. It's kind of tacky when putting on that first coat, but hopefully with the second coat, it's just as buttery. I really like using potted gels, of course, to do like a solid color, but also for nail art. And a color like this is really hard to get to a good consistency when you have it in a bottle. It ends up being kind of runny and you can't get that crisp art. So I'm excited to be using this for summer nail art. Okay, yes, confirmed. The second coat goes on like butter, so I think the pattern with these leaf gel colors is the first coat goes on a little bit tacky and then the second coat goes on super smooth. So you, that would mean you definitely wanna be super intentional when you're placing that first coat down so that way you don't get any runs with that second coat because it goes down a lot smoother. All right, moving on to the color 204. Initially, before seeing that orange, I was excited about this color most because I was hoping to get like that egg yolky, yellowy color. To be quite honest, I don't know why we call neon yellow egg yolky because egg yolk looks nothing like this, but the color is stunning. This is gonna be the it go-to color for the summer. 
The cap where it says 204 kind of looks more like a neon green, but I think this is safe to say that it's a very tennis ball-y, mm, more like a yellow tennis ball really, but it has that same fluorescence to it. Literally can't get over how beautiful summer colors are. Like, why don't we love these all year round? I don't know. I mean, I do. If I'm in the mood, I definitely do, but ugh, chef's kiss on these colors. Here's what the coverage looks like after just one coat. It is a little bit streaky and yellow polish in general is a little bit difficult. So I'm just working through and making sure that I cover that in the second coat. Once again, that second coat goes on like butter. So that is super satisfying. I love when polish runs on smooth and I'm definitely able to cover up those streaky areas with that second coat. So definitely two coats with this sort of color. Moving on to 223, this is kind of like a neon peachy color. It's one of those bright colors that are oddly calming, whereas like the neon orange and the neon yellow were kind of like invigorating and this one's kind of like calming, relaxing, but still kind of bright. It's certainly a true peach. I think it's right in the middle of like a light pink and an orange, which is really cute for the summer. For this shade as well, I would definitely recommend two coats just because it doesn't have like a full coverage when you put that first coat down. It all depends on what you're going for, but for the maximum opacity of the color, I would definitely say two coats. Here we have the color in two coats, 223. It doesn't really match the top. Some of them do, some of them don't, but it is fun to figure out which ones do. Okay, moving on to this neon green. I'm hoping this is like a really, really bright green, like in your face, a wow, can't miss it type of green, but let's see. Okay, so it's actually more of like a soothing green as well. It is a neon, but it's not like rave neon. <laughs> When choosing colors online, it does get a little difficult to figure out exactly how it's going to look. So you kind of do your best going off descriptions, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I am happy because the color is still pretty. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection currently, so I'm happy with it nonetheless. I still can't get over that buttery second coat. I feel like that is just a nail tech dream, a nail artist dream for a buttery, smooth color application. All right, this is what it looks like with two coats. And I guess it kind of does match the top, just a little less green. Here we have all of the colors all together. These are not part of the same collection or anything like that. I just chose things based on what I needed. And I think they're all stunning. You guys know that the yellow and the orange, like that super bright orange are my favorite, but let me know which are your favorite from the Leaf Gel collection. Okay, moving on to the Cocoist Magnetic collection. As I mentioned before, their collection comes, I believe with nine colors. Um, so what's missing from here is a blue, a light pink, and a silver. I would recommend this entire collection if you don't already have some magnetic colors. Um, they are all based off of planets and the first one up is Mars and it is so beautiful. I do think that this color does represent Mars accurately, but so nice. So going in with that first layer, instantly these are way easier to apply that first coat. Like they are not tacky at all. I'm not sure if it's just this color or what, but let's see. Um, another thing I'm noticing immediately is that this is way more sheer. So we're gonna go in with that second coat and I'm gonna also show you how to get that magnetic E effect. Um, yeah, these go on super easy, almost watery, but it doesn't feel like 
they move or transfer easily like i don't think it will end up bleeding into the cuticle or anything like that um, but definitely way easier to brush on okay after i do the second coat i go ahead and bring the magnet to the left side then i bring the magnet to the right side and then i kind of hover over the top and that's kind of what gives me that magnetic E effect. And you can see the, the magnets kind of shift in the center. Moving on to the shade Venus. Immediately when I open this color, I'm like, what? Do you guys see this? It's like a golden green. I can't. I'm just obsessed with magnetic polishes at the moment. I don't know what it is. I don't know when I'll get over it, but hopefully you guys are along for the ride with me. Okay, so again, the color, the color, the color but also the consistency it goes on very very smooth um which i love i love when things are just super easy to apply it makes your service just that much easier or if you're applying your own nails it makes the whole process easier the color is really nice like i said it's like this coppery-ish green tone um and it definitely look definitely looks better with two coats I realized that this color is very similar. It's the magnetic version to this khaki oats glass color that's also in um, another Cocoa's collection. So this would make a really cute manicure if you paired these together, if you're going for like a glassy and magnetic vibe. Okay, moving on to the shade Neptune, which is this sea foamy green. Still super easy to apply. I love this color. I think that it's one of those greens that will look good on all, all skin tones, all undertones. Um, so I definitely love that because I have clients of all shades and colors and complexions. So I love a color that's gonna look good on anyone. Again, for this shade as well, two coats is definitely what's gonna bring out that color and make it look super pigmented. So far, I'm loving this collection. I really don't know what took me so long to get the entire collection. I started off with, like I said, the blue, silver, and pink. Um, I should have just got the whole collection to begin with because this one is a must, especially if you don't already have any magnetic colors in your collection. All right, moving on to Uranus. It looks like it's gonna be this purple based off that little circle swatch. Let's see. Okay, I for one am not obsessed with the color purple. Like some people are super obsessed with the color purple, but this shade, this is so dreamy. Oh, I'm giving it a mix just so that the magnets can kind of like get their way through. And if anything had separated, I'm just mixing it all together. This shade of purple is giving Ursula and maybe that's where her name came from, the, color, the planet Uranus. Um, Gorgeous, this color is gorgeous. I'd wear this color, and again, like I'm not super obsessed with purple. I would wear this color, this color is amazing. It's so deep and moody. Coco is, you did your thing with this one, you did your thing. Obviously the magnetic effect comes when we're using the magnet, but if you like the, the way that the polish looks like glittery metallic-y without moving and shifting the little magnet pieces, keep it, keep it just like that. But if you're going for like that color shift effect, definitely use your magnet. Moving on to the shade Mercury, which is this deep pink magenta color, giving it a thorough stir so that we can get the full color. Obviously you can wear this color any time of the year, but I see this color more in the fall. It definitely gives like a deeper pinkish magenta tone. Um, if you want to pair it with another Cocoa's color, it would look really nice with the shade Japanese magenta. So write that one down so you can add that to your collection as well. Okay, and now we're going with the color Sun. It's kind of hard to imagine what the color of the sun is, but Cocoist is bringing us this fiery orange color. Mm, I'd call it more like a reddish orange, and I guess that is kind of sun-like, very Leo-like. This color is a banger. I do feel like, based on the lighting 
of my recording station. I don't feel like you can see the full vibe. So I'm actually gonna insert a color of how it looked on my client in the sun. So you guys can see how gorgeous it actually is. All right, so here it is applied on my client and in the sun. As you can see, the lighting is totally different in the sun. The color pays off differently and the rings are from preciouslypolished.com. That will be linked down in the description box as well as all the details for the products that are being shown today. If you haven't already worked with a magnet, sometimes your magnet doesn't move in the way you want. That's totally fine. You can literally just redo the magnetic motions and it will reshift them. Totally fine. Magnetic polish is very forgiving. I believe that was the last color of the collection. So here we have them all together. I am... Ugh just can't I just literally can't with this whole collection it's so beautiful they have like a shade for everyone must 10 out of 10 recommend i hope you enjoyed this unboxing hope to see you in the next one